Nairobi has long been the economic heart of one of Africa's most important countries, with the city accounting for 45% of Kenya's GDP. However, Nairobi is faced with serious urban planning and management problems. An efficient, affordable, and safe transport system essentially connects people to amenities and daily life. Nairobi has been largely unprepared for the consequences of the rapid population growth, leaving mobility needs in the hands of private cars and uncoordinated and unsafe paratransit operators, the so-called matatus. I live in Buruburu. Um, I commute from Buruburu to town on a daily basis. In the morning, if I leave very early, I am able to get uh, public transport, but from around 7, I have to really find my way to get a bus. And it takes a lot of time to get to town because we have to use alternative routes because of the traffic. In the evening, I have to, 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 to get my bus before 4.30, because after 4.30, I have to really queue to get, um, to get a bus. And the service is not so very good. You know, the, the, the conductors and the drivers are not very polite, so it's, it's, it's a real hassle. Public transport in Kenya is a real hassle. The government itself is a challenge to us. So there are so many rules which we don't know. We find ourselves being arrested for nothing. Let me know we are doubts. Yeah. That's one of the challenges. Another challenge, the passengers themselves. They do believe that uh, Matatu crew are not cool guys. So whenever you're with the, with the passengers, like uh, it's like having a lion and an antelope in the jungle. They are like, okay, these guys are supposed to pay this amount, but they don't trust us at the end of the day. And in fact, most of them use abusive languages, they call us Makangas, and them that we don't prefer. We can do better because uh, because of the traffic jams, then sometimes the matatus are too many small design matatus are almost everywhere causing traffic jams, overlapping, so they end up costing more job on the Kenyan roads. So it's, at the end of it, it takes longer time. Um, the ones which break traffic rules should actually get arrested and maybe given a penalty. Yeah, because that, none of that happens. It's just the same and only matatus, but no one really follows them up. I, I, I put it like the government, they harass us so much. Like for example, you're hustling, it's a job like any other. You are arrested, they take you inside there. You are you have been told of so many rules of which I don't know. Others yani, they just pick on you. Whenever a police officer, a traffic police officer stops you and arrest any time he stops you, he cannot lack anything to, to arrest you for a city. So yeah, I, I want the government to change on that. Let them be reasonable. A high quality citywide public transport system and non-motorized transport network are lacking. Uh, my name is uh, Peter Waiganjo Agasha. I am a member of the faculty at the School of Computing and Informatics at the University of Nairobi and um, I'm also part of the Digital Matatu project, um, which is a project uh, that we are collaborating in. The general idea or what Digital Matatu is about is um, it's about creating um, data that can be useful to a variety of users around the Matatu system that we have. My name is Stefanie Holzwart and I am working for the Urban Mobility Unit at UN Habitat in Nairobi, where the headquarters of UN Habitat are based. UN Habitat has used the digital Matatu maps as the basis for demand surveys of public transport and all that has resulted in the service planning for the first BRT corridor that was produced by ITDP, which is UN Habitat's implementation partner. People, different people have used it to create awareness about the Matatu industry and the Matatu transport system. For example, uh, some, uh, one of the 
local technical com technical companies, tech companies, Matui Route, now provides a service where users can actually uh, crowdsource information and send, and you can be able to know about uh, maybe certain places where there are situations with the road in the traffic situations, and probably also you can be able to report if there is uh, uh, maybe a problem with the Matatu crew, and, uh, and I think to us that is oh, that's a very important development. Under the project Promoting Sustainable Transport Solutions for East African Cities, UN Habitat is supporting Nairobi, Addis Ababa and Kampala to upgrade their transport systems. 